everybody, and welcome back to Let's Read. Let's mm -hmm. Read. Not, uh. not living the dream, because we do not have Lightning Rabbit. Uh, so instead, we're going to be reading something that I have never read before. For, <laughs> for a change of pace, instead of being the story that I've read before and no one else has read, uh, this is a story that everybody except for me has read before uh, that they insist is really, really funny. So... I've uh, been looking forward to reading this for a yes. real long time. Uh, hope we're going to have fun. Hopefully you're going to have fun. And, or else. Uh, no, not or else. They, they don't or have else. fun, that's fine. No, no they, they have to have fun. They, they will have fun. It's it's yeah. their choice. Anyway. Uh, fun isn't a choice. It is right. My Little Fluttershy. Uh, By LNS four. Studios. It's uh, 30 thumbs up to 48 thumbs down, so... Uh, People are pretty evenly um, matched on this one, actually. Yeah, yeah, I think there's a little bit more negativity, but hopefully, yeah. hopefully the author will prove them wrong. Oh, they and, will. And, and show oh, everyone will. that this is truly a work of artistic merit. I liked and favored in this story. I actually did as well, because wow. it is my favorite sad crossover slice of life human. Wait, is this a crossover with what? It's a, uh, uh, I think it's my little dash it's a crossover with. I don't know if that counts. Okay. After 15 years of the incident with Rainbow Dash, is it possible to have the same thing to happen twice? Well, it did. Oh, and Fluttershy is in for a ride of her life. She will have to relive the years Dashy lived, but in the... Uh, beautiful island of England, Manchester. Man, I'm so glad we don't have Lightning Rabbit here, because I think he probably would have been fairly offended by that. <laughs> oh, we already read it with him, so... Well, he, he was certain, he had a lot, uh, quite a few choice words for the story. Oh, I'm sure. As this guy is also a fellow Brit, so... He is, the author is actually a Brit, so... But well, I'm pleased to hear. Edit, I will update when I have time, but I'm busy with schoolwork and my other books. Or, as you guys say, fanfics. <laughs> so I'm sorry, but I will add more soon. Yes, that includes a new image cover that I made instead of getting off Google. Oh. Note, this is my first fan fiction, and the first time I've written something book-wise that wasn't schoolwork-wise, so ties a wall of text or anything, then that's why. I'm just a noob to this. Also, the guy in this book or fanfic isn't a reactionist, so is mostly okay with everything. Yes, uh. even a box that fell from the sky or a UFO sighting, he honestly wouldn't care, but is also very curious about things out of the norm. He can and can't think in big situations he's never been in. Depends if it's a game, real life, or a maths quiz, which I wish him good luck in. He's terrible at maths. I also oh, count shit. fan fictions as books. In case I haven't mentioned well, three times. Since he is mentioning that he considers these things books, I, I've got to admit, I'm actually a little bit intimidated here. We're used to, we're, we're used to reading crap on this uh, series, but this guy seems like he's got a he's got a very high opinion of his own work. And he, uh, I mean, yes. they're, they're books. It, it's know? it's a bit yeah. intimidating. We've never done a book before, so uh, yeah. hopefully this will not uh, be too above our heads. Hopefully not. Well, let's find out in Worlds Collide. Before you start reading, I must tell you why there are dashes every now and then within the story. These dashes indicate when the story has skipped a one or a couple days O, oh, and this story, or as I prefer, book, is rushed, <laughs> as I do all my stories on an iPhone, as when I write on a Word document, I will forget about it the day after, so a phone is more productive to me. Oh. Awesome. Can we just acknowledge the fucking idiocy right there? It's like, <laughs> I, I could write a story on my computer, but then I just forget about it. So I'll just write it on my iPhone. I I uh, I make a joke about that, except that like I literally like a couple of days ago, uh, after like I I I was looking through my uh, my folder, I was like, oh crap, that's right, I haven't actually written anything on on the story I'm currently writing because I forgot about it for a week. <laughs> I was like, oh. Even right. so, like having it on your iPhone, you you're not gonna remember it any more than. Yeah, yeah. no, that's that's kind of dumb. Like, yeah, that's a little bit weird. But you know what? Again, this guy is a professional book writer, so yes. uh, we, right, we should, he is. We should deal sort with his eccentricities. Oh, this is great. That's true. Today is a sad day. It's Friday the thirteenth, and it has every right to rain today. <laughs> oh snap. Uh. I don't care if I get wet. Such a Today I finished reading My Little Dashy, and my favorite music teacher was leaving. Yeah, I, I won tickets to the semifinals of the Olympics in the football, aka soccer, if you're from the USA event, but I don't <laughs> give a flying feather. I, I actually love the fact that this guy is essentially a dwarf from Dwarf Fortress. It's like... Unnamed narrator is sad today. He has recently, uh, you know, gotten wet, been rained on. He has recently had his favorite music teacher leave. He has recently read a story. He has, you know, he has tickets to the soccer cup. 
Yeah, can I just say, by the way, he's like all bummed out because it was raining, his music teacher left, and he read a sad fanfic. But he got tickets to the fucking Olympics, and he's yeah. still like pouting about it. <laughs> he's in a strange mood. Yeah, it's the semifinals ever. of the Olympics. Like that that's a big event. Oh well. It's hard to imagine what can make this day better. I mean aside from winning tickets to the fucking Olympics, but Yeah, yeah he didn't just get tickets, he won tickets. Well, he won tickets, but he has to go all the way to Sochi, so it's kinda you know Yeah, well, I mean, oh, actually this is uh, this is back in London, the I, London. I, 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 I know, I'm I'm making a joke. I'm bummed out about the ending to my little dashy and trying my best to withhold my tears. <laughs> Oh. Yeah! Call me a wuss all you want. I don't care. If you read it, you'd be crying you eyes out. If I could find a pony in a box, and I hope it's derpy or a dash of my own, or better yet, a rarity or twilight, but no way is that going to happen. Not in a lifetime. The real world sucks. <laughs> Where else can you get magical ponies and do awesome things? You... One take us to the fucking Olympics! Your life does not suck! I, I love the uh, fact that, like, with especially how depressing this guy has been up to this point, the fact that he listed off basically everyone but the one he's gonna find, yeah. makes it seem like he's gonna, like, find him and be like, oh, just my luck, I did <laughs> what I wanted. Also, oh, I love that he's this... like, that, that, there's no way that's gonna happen in our lifetime. He's right, that doesn't happen to him. Yeah. None of those things happen to him. On that note, my friends are asshats to me because I like My Little Pony. They complain and say I talk about it all the time every time I bring it up, but in reality, I only bring up the subject of MLP once in a smurfing moon, and when I do bring it up, it's only for five seconds, but they just have to extend it up to a day-long conversation. Oh, yeah. Anti-bronies, they will one day watch the show and turn to you and say it's gay, and all I ask is how much did you watch, and they always, and I mean always, reply with, only up to the intro, then I turned it off, as I didn't like the music and the bit before. I always get mad at the sound of that. Uh, can I just take a real quick second to just say something that always pisses me off with this bullshit? Always pisses you off? Yes, always. It's like, I, got, I have a lot of friends who just dislike the show for perfectly reasonable reasons. They have given it a try, they've watched it, they didn't like it. You know what? That's fine. That is fucking great if they don't like it. Shut the fuck up about how victimized you are because not everyone shares your damn taste. See, this is weird, because he'll, like, he he says he brings it up once in a smurfing moon, and then they just, oh, God, this pony, I hate it. Like, they just keep moping, woe is me. And then I love it, because he's just like, how much did you watch? Always, always exactly word for word verbatim, only after the intro. Then I turned it off because I didn't like the music in the bit before. Like, why does everyone say that? Everyone. Says that. Everyone. Like they, they, they all just like line up and watch that, and they're like, "Nope." The day is over, uh, and thank God it is. Now I have three school days left until summer, a wet one. And yes, the summers in England are wet too. I can make a funny joke now, but one, it's too rude for young people, and two, I can't be bothered on saying anything funny nor happy on a sad day like this. Damn my audience. <laughs> if it wasn't for that, then I'd most likely be crying now. What? I'll cry at home. On the bus isn't a good place, as I'm the oldest and the rest are your sevens, eights, and nines, who bully you on the slightest thing. That's why I have music playing. Keep quiet and read my book. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, if you're wondering. <laughs> what? what? There are so many things wrong with that paragraph. So, just to quickly reiterate here, once again, He's miserable, but he's going to the Olympics, and it's three days till summer. And he's yeah. like, yeah, I could make a funny joke, but I won't. But I could. <laughs> but he's I like, won't. I could make a funny joke, but firstly, it's too rude for young people, and secondly, I'm autistic. <laughs> well, Also, he does you know. he uses lists a lot throughout this story. Yeah. And I like how he's like, I, I, I'd be crying if it weren't for my autism. Like, what? <laughs> Uh, I could be flying, I would fl go flying right now, but I'm not, because of the fact that it would be rude. Also, I'm dyslexic. <laughs> That's true, it's just like, you know, uh, I could be having sex right now, but I am a nerd, and also I have erectile dysfunction. Like, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's just, okay. It's such uh, weird, oh, whatever. Oh, well. And I like Wait how he's older. Bit. Like, he's older, he's like year 10, but everyone else who's younger than him bullies him, and he just doesn't even... Nope, so that's why he reads Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Yeah, well. So today is the second to last day to school. As I was running home from the bus, I was trying to do two things. 
keep my headphones on because they're the ones that sit in your ears and keep my hood on as it was raining like no tomorrow. Oh. When I got home to see if anyone was in, I saw a flash of lightning where I was stood only 15 seconds ago. It's like a mob, like oh. an Italian guy. Like, yeah. I saw a flash of lightning where I was stood only 15 seconds ago. <laughs> Uh, thank the Lord I wasn't still there, and thank the Lord that none of the wooden fences caught on fire. Meanwhile, in say, heaven, damn it, I missed. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> also, I should say he was running home. Fifteen seconds ago is quite a far distance. I should mention when you're running. Also, can I just say, like, if the headphones are the ones that sit in your ears, I don't. Like, if he means earbuds, then like, they don't. Earbuds tend to not like just fall out. I don't know. Like, you have gavernous ears. I guess I don't know. Uh, and like, why are you trying to keep your hood on? You put your hood on, it'll stay on. Why are you running home? Cause it's raining. Yeah, but... It's raining. Which, again, it, it's it seems like a minor point compared to everything else. But he's mentioned it's raining a lot. <laughs> well, it's raining. Like, in every paragraph. But, I mean, he could make a joke about that. But one, it would scare off the young people, and two, he's autistic. Oh, oh that's true. That's true. Yeah. Uh, uh... Even though I was scared out of my skin, but I still went to wave to the bus like normal to tell then they can go and drop off the next person. Uh, so, so it was just like, it was whole 15 seconds of him running away from the bus. Then I'll strike a lightning, and then he's like, okay, now you guys can go. And it's like, uh, okay, it's fine. Go, go, go. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, they wave to bus drivers and they'll say, you can go on without me, I'll be fine. Smarter. Then I went to investigate, because I saw something in the corner of my eye. The oh. only thing new was a little cardboard box. It wasn't there when I was running home, and I know I didn't see it. After finding this odd box, I decided to take it inside so I can dry off and keep the contents at least dry themselves. I decided I'll keep it to myself for now. Either way, I'm going to see the amazing Spider-Man in 3D. <laughs> hey, 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 buddy boy, you're not autistic, you're ADD. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh... I, um, he was sponsored by the Amazing Spider-Man yeah. in 3D. I'm yeah. also just loving the fact that essentially, like, a bolt of lightning smashes Thor's hammer into, like, the fucking ground outside of his door. He's like, huh, well, I'm about to go see, you know, Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I found this really mysterious box, but instead of opening it, I'm just going to put it away and go watch Spider-Man in 3D. Yeah! And you find a box, like, whatever, maybe it's, like, for your parents or something, but he didn't find a box, like... I'm guessing by the way the story is written there that the box was, like, brought down by the lightning. Because, like, the, the lightning hits the ground and then the box appears. It's like, oh. Well. I guess this... I better take this out of the rain because I don't want getting wet while I'm watching Spider-Man. Right. In 3D, no less. <laughs> In 3D, no less. After the movie. It's 11.26, according to my clock. And I was getting into bed. The box was still on the floor, and I went to bed. Oh, okay. I like how you said according to my clock. Like, yeah. as opposed to being according to, like, my table desk, it was 11.26. Well, according to my... According to the moon. It's nice to, that his author, you know, uh, O.C., is not uh, omniscient. He, he, he is admitting to his fallibility. Yeah, He does not I, know the time. Also, he, do we ever get dates before at all? No, we didn't. Um, no. So it's now the 18th of Wednesday. So well, for, Wednesday for, the 18th. This is several Five. days later. Yeah. I love this, by the way. It's just, it almost runs in law and order. It's like, date, Wednesday the 18th, time, 3.52. I wake up to find that I woke up early, so I must have to pee. <laughs> All right. So I got up and go. I noticed something, though. The box, it was open. I didn't open it. Oh, please tell me no one came in here while I was sleeping and opened it and took what was inside. <laughs> hmm, I found a box outside and brought it inside and then it mysteriously opened up. Someone must have burst into my room and opened it. <laughs> Naturally. Time, 7.13. I pushed the snooze button on my alarm and got up, but as I did, a little yellow furry creature with pink hair asleep on my lap. I looked at it, not moving. After ten whole seconds, I yawned. I, I without thinking, let out a little. Duh! Was this to be me? Oh, sorry. Also, I should say I'm... ten seconds is a long time. Just staring at something. I freak out a little bit when I when my cat wakes. When I wake up to find my cat laying on my chest, and I'm not expecting it. And this guy's like, oh, strange creature that's like yellow and pink. That yeah. I have no idea what. I'll it stare is. at it for ten seconds. Duh. Duh. 
As I did, it quickly woke up and looked at me with its big blue eyes. After looking at me for around six seconds, it backed away in fear. It didn't trust me, so I picked it up and held it close to my body. <laughs> oh, what's that? You're screaming to get away? Hard, you do not get away from me! Uh. Oh, jeez. It is a hard It flapped area. its wings as fast as it could, as if it would fly by some miracle, just like in my little dashy. <laughs> uh. Okay, so we, we didn't establish that this is actually a pony, but he's now just going, like, yeah, whatever, you, you figured it out. You know the story is. Fuck it, let's go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shh, little fool, I'm here to take care of you, feed you and raise you until you get back home. But for now, you're my little Fluttershy. She calmed down after feeling the warmth of my body. Oh. Then, when she was calm, I put her back on my lap. She smiled at me and walked up to my hands and used her nose to push it. I realized that she wanted a hug. Oh. I couldn't believe it. I had my own Fluttershy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not Derpy or Rainbow Dash, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Worst day ever. Worst day. And I still got to get to the Olympics tomorrow. But who cares? It's every right to rain today. Yeah. But then I realized something. Today was the last day of school. I oh. can't bring a pony into school. Not even a Philly pony that will be able to fly and talk when it's older. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I just realized something. Okay, one, it's now the last day of school, which means that it it had actually been two days. Because it was the thir three days left till the end of school yeah. in the last day. So he left that box in his room, like Fluttershy, in the box with apparently no air holes for two days before she actually finally managed to break out. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> and yeah. two, apparently, like, since it was the music teacher's last day, they fired the music teacher two days before the end of the semester. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I never noticed that. <laughs> he just finished the damn course. He's out <laughs> before the end. You're so awful. Get out. There were, like, pedophilia allegations and he just had to skip town. Oh god, I'm starting to have doubts about why he's the kid's favorite t-shirt. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh god. Oh, this has gotten too dark. Yes. But I can't leave it at home because I won't be there to feed her, even though she hasn't eaten for the last four days. <laughs> oh god, darn it! I didn't feed her last night. She must be starving! You must be starving! <laughs> Let me get you something to eat. I said in a calm voice. When I told her this, her big blue eyes looked at me, and mm -hmm. she got a bigger smile all the way from ear to ear. That's a far distance for a pony. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, I didn't know what you like, and we don't have any, A, so would you do with apples, bananas, with the picks? Google it if you don't know what they are. Which there it is. There it is. The title of our of our little group. Truly uh, the artifact. Uh, when we saw that, we were so floored. Like, what the fuck is Rutabix? <laughs> and so we actually did Google it. And I thought you had Lightning Rabbit in the call with you. Like, it, not, it, not when we first read this. first time we read this, only the second time. Oh yeah. my god. So basically, the two people who could have actually told you just right off the bat what Weedabix were, were not around. No! <laughs> And we were just like, what the fuck? So we went and checked it up on Google, and we were like, what the, what the fuck? And it was just like, what is this? It's just this big chunk of oat shit. And it was just like... <laughs> yeah, I just love this. I was like, you two are like, what the hell is Weedabix? Me and Alex are just, so me and Lightning Rapper are just sitting in the back, just munching on big bricks of Weedabix. Ha ha ha! We didn't know what the fuck it was. And we were just like, so like, what the hell? <laughs> we just didn't even know. Oh, jeez. Oh, she tilted her so head and... We Googled it. I love this, by the way. She tilted her head in confusion at the Weedabix, as did all Americans. <laughs> <laughs> so I just put uh, the apple, banana, and Weedabix in front of her in a line and let her choose. And guess what it was? Weedabix. <laughs> yeah, damn right it is. Fucking Weedabix are delicious. Entirely uh, dry Weedabix, by the way. Not even. Yeah, okay, that's that's pretty nasty. Yeah. <laughs> I gave her one so it wouldn't be too much for her. She quite enjoyed it. I held out one more and politely said, Do you care for another one, or are you not hungry? She shook her head. Then I realized what was happening! We were communicating! <laughs> she every word that came out my mouth like we knew each other for years on end. I decided hey, to take hey, her to school. Do you, do you want some food? You want some food? She, 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 oh my god, she was responding to, some, to me offering her food! She must understand everything I say! Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Thank 
kitty kitty. You wanna get some food? You wanna get some food? Oh my god, it talked! <laughs> uh. <laughs> We're communicating! <laughs> uh. I decided to take her to school. But how? I said she would have to stay here, but then she almost cried. I could tell. <laughs> Her eyes were going watery, and in no way, without a smile, could that be a good thing. One thing I didn't get is how she behaved. She never acted like this in the show. <laughs> she was you... never timid or shy. <laughs> Have you never seen the show before? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I got it. I know what this is. This asshole's like, yeah, no, my friends all stop watching the show after, you know... The, the the very beginning and the uh, the intro because this asshole only has the show available <laughs> for the intro. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> so I used to this. Is there more? No, that's all I have. Oh. oh this, this really sucked. Well, God, you don't have to keep bagging on about it. It's not like one of your smurfing. I'm autistic. <laughs> I'm going to the Olympics, but I don't care. Go for me, Fred. I threw it on the ground. Alright. That's uh, cool. I managed to sneak her in via my coat. I didn't go to my friends or on the playground. They he had playgrounds in English high schools. He's a year 10. In he has a playground. Uh, Fuck yeah. <laughs> That's how you do it, son. I went straight into my form teacher. Four. But I had to make sure she wasn't in a meeting or if anyone else was in the room. It was empty, so that was good. The more I think about this, the more I think that this was a bad idea. But I'm in year 10, so I can't just skip school. It's something you totally could. Yeah. Uh. So he tells I me he's not in year 10. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Call me crazy. I had to bring her in as no one else is at home, and plus, she's only a couple of weeks old. What else could I know? do? How does she manage? She's a couple of weeks old. How the hell does she manage to eat Weedabix? Um. That's Weed a really Bix is... good question. <laughs> Don't you know? Weedabix is like the gospel. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Weedabix was the Helix fossil before the Helix fossil. Oh man, that's some oh, heretical Weedabix shit there. Fossil. <laughs> this is Bront. Yes, Luke. Oh. Is it okay if I'll give you something to take care of for me? Just yeah. for the day? What is it? Well, that's the thing. I put Fluttershy on her desk. She looked at the teacher and backed off a little in fear. Oh my god, you look really weird. Oh, what is this? I took a deep breath as I was about to say this. This would be hard to take in, but I'm her father. <laughs> um, okay, look, I'm not sure what you've been putting. Okay. When a mother and a father love each other very much, they <laughs> necessarily. Mrs. Brunt, I've had this talk with the music teacher. Miss Brunt, you've never been farther from the truth. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, uh, after saying that, Fluttershy looked at me as if she was surprised to hear it. Because she was. She was happy too. I was her dad now. And don't. nobody and no pony will change that. Not now, not ever. Not now, not ever. You yeah. know, this might be kind of weird, but I'm actually going to give a little bit of credit to this story over my little dashy, just in as far as the guy doesn't spend the first, you know, hundred pages going like, I love her, but I need to let her go as soon as, you know, someone comes looking for her. Yeah, at least yeah. he's uh, invested. Oh, well. He's her father and her yeah, dart, so it's okay. Bit... Yeah. He's in some ways less emo than Anon from My Little Dashie, at least. Yeah. Well, I mean, it'd be kind of, you'd be hard pressed in, to find somebody who isn't. Way. Yeah. yeah. And secondly, it's just like a 12 year old autistic kid. I mean, he's going to be kind of happy. Uh, yeah. It was from Darren now. Whoa. All right. Anyways, Miss hid her in the cupboard where she keeps the phones, 3DSs, and other things. <laughs> she didn't get any, I'll just confiscate her. Huh? Yeah, can I just say, by the way, that it says, like, Miss, so it would be like saying Mr., like, if you had a guy named Mr. Barnes, it would be like, instead of calling him Barnes, it would be like, so Mr. went and put her in the cupboard. It's like, is Miss her first name? Uh, yeah. Miss Brunt. I'm Miss T. Brunt. Oh, God. 
Oh dear. Also, just shoving her in the cupboard and forgetting about her, it's, you know. <laughs> well, I think at this point we've established that Fluttershy can go without oxygen for several days. Yeah, I mean, you know. Yeah. I told her if the fire alarm were to go off, I would run to get her. Also, so. it never happened, so saying that was pointless. Yeah. She gave me a big hug after the news, and I kissed her on the head. What, is Miss Brunt? Brunt? You know, <laughs> as mean as this is to say, this is actually selling the idea of Miss Brunt as a special needs teacher a lot. <laughs> say, I, I work at a school, like, in the special needs department. That is totally something that, like, they do with the little, little kids who, you know, are a little bit, uh, you know. Uh, so, yeah, I'm totally buying, th not this is a 10th year teacher, but this is the experience of someone who has actually been in the special education program. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, that makes a very darker spin on this, but I guess he basically admitted to it. I'm anyway, pretty sure he's he? referring to Fluttershy there, anyway. So, I, I not not grammatically. <laughs> not grammatically, no. But I think he might have intended it to be Fluttershy. Oh, I hope to God it is, because that would be super. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Brunt, if the fire alarm goes off, I will get you. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get you, Miss Brunt. Okay. At luncheon breaks, I went to feed her. I decided to give the end of year disco a mess <laughs> up. Someone had a fight in there. I'm also not the disco type. <laughs> they have a disco at the end of the year, and apparently it's a very violent mosh pit disco. Yeah, that's what they have in England. <laughs> this may sound mean and cruel, but I was disappointed to miss the annual last day fight. <laughs> what? They had but I was. I was also glad, like, Gladys, for. I don't, G, capital G, capital L, lowercase a, capital D. I don't get it. Yeah, To miss it, too, as he looks really hurt. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, I like just, some kid sport. just got completely gangbanged there. It was just, oh. yeah, Dang. <laughs> I it's an Olympic sport, the annual end of your disco beatdown. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's what you got tickets for. Yeah. Anyway, I took this opportunity to spend time with Fluttershy. With the teacher's permission, of course. <laughs> I wouldn't be insubordinate. <laughs> uh, after school was over, I was g la -D to spend six weeks with my little filly. I wonder if she'd learn to fly, or talk, or better yet, sing. I can sing! I can fly! And I'm Javert! This is like that 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 last bit there, and like and Mary can't sing. It just it really sounds like the the Planet of the Apes musical thing. It's like he can talk. He yeah. I hope she can talk. She can talk. She can talk. I can sing. <laughs> uh, I had my reasons to believe that she could talk to animals, so that was ticked by default. Oh okay. Start date nineteenth of July. Today I had a free day off summer activities. <laughs> I was really preoccupied with all the nothing that uh, I was doing during the I can, summer. You know, I can pencil you in in between water gun fights and, you know, wistfully, problems. you know, sitting on the edges of cliffs with my friends talking about the end of childhood. <laughs> uh, so I thought I might spend time with my filly. She wanted to too. We did lots of things. I tickled her. I fed her. <laughs> hugged her. I even kissed her goodnight. I did all four of those things for the course of <laughs> one whole day. Uh, it was sad seeing her cry, though. It was because I did that thing where you cover your face and go, Where's Daddy? <laughs> I think it's called Peekaboo. <laughs> I'll just call it that. It was really sad. I had to rock her gently for an hour until she, one, fell asleep, and two, stopped crying. Oh, wait, hold so one fell asleep and then she was sobbing in her sleep for yeah, yeah, that order. Yeah, that order. I love this too, because like he plays peekaboo, which he doesn't know what peekaboo is called. It is what you and... humans call peek a boo. <laughs> uh does be right. Pe oh yes, I've always wanted to play peekaboo on top of a mountain. Hello? <laughs> uh, sorry, you, bro you broke up there pretty badly for a second. Oh, uh, that's okay. Uh, actually, a fun little fact that I just want to point out here, because he had a free, he, he waited till he had a free day in his summer vacation. So, we're going to assume that since the last update was, wait, wait, 
the last update, I was going to say, like, how long has he been leaving Photoshop alone? But I'm actually going to use his own dates here. He said that he waited till he had a free day on the summer activity. It's the next damn day! <laughs> oh my god, you're right! It was the 18th, it's now the 19th. He penciled in the day after the I was really busy with all of the nothing that I'd had time to plan out. <laughs> Ah, uh, summer uh, vacation. Well, I've got a free day, so let's, uh, let's, yeah, spend some time with the kid. Yeah. <laughs> Can we just say, like, post-traumatic stress disorder or some shit? Like, that's your trigger is peekaboo? Oh, God. Yeah. Okay, t t the next day, Janu uh, 20th of July. Date, 20th July. For today, I thought I might just teach her to speak. After wasting my time with that idea, I thought I'll give her a few months before I do. <laughs> what a amazing way to end the chapter. Well, I'll just, you know, pencil you in the next day, too. Why not, right? Yeah, exactly. Actually, the next chapter's only, like, 1,400 words. You want to just power through? Fuck yeah, yeah, we're not going to get... The last one's, like, 4,000, 5,000 words, but we can get chapter two done easily. Okay, yeah. let's, do, let's do the first two, then, and we'll do the, the next one next time Lightning Rabbit is missing or something. Anyway. I, I love chapter two so much. Growing <laughs> tree. A... Bow, really? just bow, wow. Oh, my. I soon realize that it's been a year since I got my Fluttershy. Time seems to be going fast. I only have 15 years until she leaves me. What? You'd only have 14 years because you already spent one year. Yeah. Okay. I'm you get that mask from My Little Dashy. Yeah. Okay. So. Fluttershy, like in My Little Dashy, seems to know her <laughs> name as when I said her name for the first time, she responded with a smile and trust me completely. No, I, I, you know, last I checked, it was the same thing with dogs. See, you call a dog by its name. Heck, I can go outside and call my dog Toby, and he'll come running. Uh, and will he just trust you unconditionally after well, the first time you say his name? Like, uh, hold on. Yeah? To be fair, this guy knows her better than we do. I mean, he interpreted that she understood the entire English language just by virtue of knowing that when he tried to offer her food and she shook her head, it meant she understands completely. It's a bit. Yeah. Also, um, let me just test his, uh, his theory. Um, Andrew. What? Do you trust me unconditionally yet? Yes, it worked. There Holy you go, crap. you see? It does work. That was amazing. Every was... time I let her look outside, she refused. I looked, and no one was there. She seemed to not want to see the mean, tall monsters that walk the earth. What? She seemed to like no one but me. It's as if I was the only living thing she could trust. Well, it's like a cat. Okay, I would I would say something about how weird that, that that idea is since she hasn't met other people. But to be fair, the only other human being she's met when like, oh, this is interesting, in the in the tiny cupboard you go. <laughs> 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 oh, it's God. true. In the tiny cupboard you go. <laughs> but I do love this idea of like the, continuing the idea that uh, he's never watched the show. Apparently, Fluttershy hates nature. Oh, can I just say, by the way, that's probably why Peekaboo f freaked her out so bad. Because, like, last time she had a door close on her, she was being locked into a cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your daddy? He left you in the cupboard with Miss Brunt! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, it's too much sense. Alright. You seem like it's... Okay. This is means I have to be careful with everything. If I lose her trust, she has nothing. She doesn't like anything on TV. I showed her every channel. All but... I'm so stupid! Why didn't I think of it before? <laughs> the Nature Channel! Wow. Oh. Now that's some caps locking. She... She doesn't like it. She loves it! <laughs> sooner, I don't know. Uh, Maybe because she has a necro like she has a crazy fear of looking at the damn window. Yeah. Also, I should point out like I could just see he's just sitting on the couch like they're flipping through channels and Flosh just sitting there looking at the TV. He's like, just they're just staring in silence. All of a sudden, I'm so stupid. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> oh god, this actually conjuring some really dark images of like this like this like family that's like and they're just sitting together watching television. And then, like, the dad just, like, stands up and, like, s like screams, like, I'M SO DUMB! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, that's horrible. Uh, like, this horribly dysfunctional family, like, it's a really tense evening after dinner. It's, like, everyone's, everyone's really like, on edge, and he just says, like, OH, GOD, I'M SO STUPID! Ah! <laughs> like, just so... Uh, it's running your room! 
Oh god, no. Alright, anyway, continuing on. She found out what an iPhone is for. She oh, asked what the internet is. Right, books! Yeah. I told her it's not a safe thing. It's dangerous and should never look or browse it. Come to think of it, I'm never safe on the internet. And that's I also put her in the bath. The big one. Not a bowl like I used for the past year, but a real bath. Oh. Two things. One, I love how he's just like, come to think of it, no one is safe on the internet. Uh, Anyways, if she was in the bath, like, just specifically, <laughs> like, 180. They mostly come at night. Mostly. Let's go to the pub now. <laughs> yeah, it kind of just say, by the way, that he's been bathing her in a bowl for a year. She was a couple weeks old when he gave her Weedabix for the first no, time. No, but, like, a bowl is tiny. Yeah, she, she has not grown significantly <laughs> in, bowl, in that time. No, see, he bathed her in the bowl, he just had Weedabix in so she could lick the bowl. Oh, you see, that makes sense. Well, Oh my god. Bless Wait her little bit. soul. She was so scared. I told her if she did it, I would take her to Heaton Park to have a roam around the woods. Then she said, no, I hate going outside, which we established in the previous paragraph. Just kidding. She loved the bath in the woods. She even said she wanted to be a tree. So I just replied, Well, you'll always be my growing tree. She screamed with glee. <laughs> I love you, Dad. <laughs> I, I think my heart just exploded. That wasn't in the story. That was just sounds beat. No, I'm joking. Uh, okay, yeah. there's also. Uh, I never, ever stop loving you. It's just some dysfunctional robot. I lost track of how long we was hugging for after this, but I think it was an hour. <laughs> I love how quickly. I like how that escalated. It was like, you want to take a bath? I like the woods. You like the woods? I want to be a tree. You're my growing tree. I love you. I'll never stop loving you. <laughs> uh, at least he was honest in the end. I think it was an hour. It's anyway. been five years since we have been a happy two-member family. I don't know if that is a real thing, but it sounds good enough for me. Yeah, hey, sing <laughs> single yeah, mother families, are you are not a real family. Also, I should I should point out <laughs> that he has his own family. He has a father, mother, and siblings. No, he's an orphan. <laughs> Obviously. Sounds me. Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, where are we at? Uh, I taught uh, her. It's been five uh, years. I taught. Okay. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, I taught her how to fly, how to talk. I finally bought her some hay, which I had to refund because she preferred Weatabix more than hay. <laughs> of course, yes. you know. Yeah. Sponsored uh, by Weatabix. Sponsored by Weatabix. And how to be independent. It was hard to get her to use the Sky Remote, but she just told me... Where, where there's a will... There's a way. You sound like I told you that. That's kind of what I'm going for. It's because like, she's 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 basically learning all of her English from this one guy, right. and she's kind of a yeah. inhuman monster. And you yeah. also have to give her a um, British accent, I should point out. Who told you that? Who, yeah, who told you that? I learned something in that school of yours. But she was in for one day, locking a cupboard the whole time, but, you know. Yeah. Obviously, the phones in 3DS has illuminated her, and she learned much about Pokemon in Mystery Dungeon. <laughs> yeah, of course. I smiled at this. I managed to get her to feed herself. Once again, hard. Had a right, which was surprisingly easy. And uh. got her a new bed instead of that crib she's been sleeping in for two years. Wait, so she's been sleeping in a crib for two years, but it's been five years since he's had her. So she's yeah. been sleeping on the floor that whole time. Yep. Okay. It was in my room. She didn't want to leave my side, which was the most adorable thing I heard her say. Also, um, he's had a crib in his bedroom for two years. His parents never questioned this. Matthew, he's why do you have a crib in your bedroom? Oh, you see, Mom, it's a science experiment at school. It's summer, dear. Oh, well. Um, it's my, uh, it's my college thesis. It's my college thesis. I, I got a ticket to the uh, football... The Olympics, the semifinals, you want to go? Oh, hell yeah. And they just took off. Boy, They're a couple of you, years out of date now. Did, yeah. did you have an illegitimate child with another horse? 
No, no Dad, honest. I, I just been playing playing Wii Sports. Boy, you know my rules. If you won't father another illegitimate child out of a horse, you can leave and be your own two-person family. Well, you see, I'd make a joke about that, but one, that would offend the smaller people watching this, and two, why I'm autistic. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, too, I'm blind. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to some angry letters about this one. Yeah, I mean, no offense to the autistic people, but we fuck this guy, guy in particular. <laughs> fuck, fuck this guy. Not this yeah, guy. fuck yeah. this one autistic guy, not not like the, the entire autistic population. Hey, man, <laughs> anyway, going forward. <laughs> going forward. That was like one step forward, 30 fucking million steps back. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Okay, In uh, my little dashy, the man taking care of her couldn't watch any more of My Little Pony. Friendship is magic. I've tried while Fluttershy was asleep and managed to succeed. Yeah. But the more I do, the more I tell myself that it won't stop her from finding out. I really should tell her about her place of origin when I get a job, move house, or, when the time is right, sooner. I forgot her cutie mark! <laughs> but I'm already naked! Uh... Wait, so yeah, he, he's he's not moved out of house, so he's a two-person family, several years out of college, like at least five years out of college, probably. No, no, he's five so, years out of high school. Yeah, you're, five, five years, five years out of high school. But... No, wait, no, no, he's been, because year 10 is the middle of high school, and then 12 is when he graduated from high school, so he's been out of high school for three years, probably in college, okay. Yeah. No, because it's one year plus five years, so it's, it's out of uh, school for four years. Out of, oh, four yep, years. you're right. I've school for four years, probably in college for a couple. Okay. Okay, but he's still... Oh, whatever. Yeah. Keep, keep on going. She was confused on what it was, so asked me to wash it off in the bath. I told oh. her what it was. She was. I never thought I would say this. Flabbergasted. For a joke, <laughs> I asked if I should still wash it off. She didn't get it. No, she didn't <laughs> fucking get it because that was a weird joke. Uh... It's like, do you want me to wash it off? Oh, no. good, we can oh. dial- you gotta meet his family! Oh yeah, it's gonna be great. I'm the manager well, of the females in this family, yeah. so... Well, I can't hide her any longer. Things are getting difficult for you me You've hit keep... her for five years! <laughs> so I decided to do it. The thing I dreaded to do for all these years. I was going to tell my family about her. Oh. I don't know how they'll take it, but I hope it goes well. The worst that could happen is that I get sent to a mental hospital. Not that bad. Oh, darn. I have something to tell you, you're gay. What? No, I... You, you, wouldn't be surprised if you watched a little girl show. Dad, shut up, please. You're not helping. Anyway, I've been keeping this from you for a long time. But I'm you, Dad. No, I'm a dad. My mum and dad sat there. Well, the thing is, I was a dad since I was 15. What? How, <laughs> how did you keep this a secret? <laughs> well, I hid her. Mum started to sound a bit upset. Uh -oh. Well, this sounds a little unrealistic. Why did you hide it? <laughs> yeah, why did you hide it when you had no, a kid when you were 15? Oh, yes, why did you hide it? Mom well, it. this is why. Fletishai, come on out. Oh, look. This obsession is getting out of control. Fluttershy trotted oh, in, oh, very oh. shy and very scared. Actually, she I looked at my parents and stayed close to me. Okay, hold on. That, just real quick, I should I should correct myself there. I screwed up that last line. It's out of uh, out of control. Control. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Um. Uh, Fluttershy. All right. <clears throat> Dad, who are these ponies? <laughs> <laughs> well, Fluttershy, they're not ponies, uh. so you're already wrong. My parents' mouths dropped at the sight of her. Fluttershy, these are my parents. Say hello to them. She looked at them. Um, hello. She put her head into my chest with fear, whimpering. I hope you two take this well. I hope the rest of the family take it the same way too. So I'm going to go run away now. I got up and whispered in my parents' ears. She doesn't know that she's from a TV show. The last day of summer, the day of Flutter Chai found out about the show. You may wonder, England has the hub network? No, we showed on something called Boomerang. 603 for Sky customers. <laughs> <laughs> just like 
<laughs> I was amazed that she got to watch it on Boomerang. I saw it via Sky Anytime Plus. Never yeah, on the channel itself. Now comes in a bundle package. Buy Sky Anytime Plus for just twenty nine ninety five a month, plus uh -huh. two tax. Be sure to capture Spider the Amazing Spider Man three D on a six oh nine. <laughs> Never. Hey, yeah, remember to to you know check out the listings for the Amazing Spider Man three D while chowing on your Weetabix on Sky Anytime Plus. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. I was both annoyed and saddened. Annoyed how she saw it on live on the channel and saddened how I should have seen it coming. Ew. No, that was Fluttershy. Oh, sorry. Ew, no, didn't you? Fluttershy, I... I stopped as Fluttershy started to cry. I decided to sit next to her and stroked her mane. Uh, 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 why didn't you tell me? I didn't belong here. I was gonna tell you tomorrow. <laughs> I was gonna tell you tomorrow, I swear. <laughs> you bald face fucking liar. <laughs> but you've had it yourself, and I'm sorry. I started sorry. to cry here. <laughs> really? Really sorry? You can run away if you want. Daddy won't blame you. Daddy won't hate you. Daddy will understand fully because Daddy wasn't there. That's so creepy. It's like, Daddy will understand. Daddy won't hate you. Daddy will let you go. You can go. You can leave, Daddy. You can seriously like, leave. Anytime what? you want, Daddy will not hold it against you. Just Daddy anytime you want. Daddy. At all. It would be fun. I love how Daddy. logical Fluttershy is in this compared to Damn. Rainbow Dash. Run, run away. Why would I do that? I still love you. You was going to tell me anyway. Which is a lie. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I'm really mad at you, but I could never run away from you. Where would I go? Where would I sleep? And who could I trust? I can see this English lesson to paying off well. Yeah. We both looked at each other, we smiled, and I told her everything. In my little dashy, dashy ran away from this moment, but I forgot that this isn't Rainbow Dash. This is Fluttershy, and I need to remember that. Because uh, again, she's so logical, I think, where the hell would I sleep, go, and what would I eat, and who could I trust? I can't run away, you idiot. Oh yeah, that's right. You know, I rescind everything I said about him being slightly less emo than the My Little uh, Dashy protagonist. Not because he isn't, but because everything in the story seems to be sort of like, yeah, this is like My Little Dashy, except better. Like, this is the fix fic for My Little Dashy. It's like everything that happened in that. But her, his pony is better. His daughter right. is more loyal. Daughter. Oh my god. His daughter. Because he's her father. Because he's her father. Um, let's see. <clears throat> To say sorry, I thought I would introduce her to the magic of 3D. Oh, it hurt her yes. eyes a little, but she got used to it. The movies I showed her was Tron, Lay, Gacy, and the Smurfs movie. Just like the oh. way it's formatted, it's like Tron, Lay, Reddit edition. Actually, the, 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 the way it's formatted is Tron, L-E-G-A-C-Y. And the Smurfs movie, all on and Sky Time Plus. She loved them both and kept asking to see them again and again, but the filly needed her sleep. No, she's not a filly, but she will always be one to me. She's about eight or ten now, you know, anywhere between that three-year yeah. stretch. But still, I'm twenty now, and my mom still calls me Mr. Moo. Mr. Moo? Cause I'm still her little boy. Like Fluttershy is my little girl, or filly. So, I should point out, he's had Fluttershy for about five years, so he's had her since he was fifteen. Uh, and she's now eight or ten, but he said she was a couple weeks old when he got her. Okay. Well, I mean, don't question Mr. Moo. Mr. Moo. Uh, hold on. Mr. Wait, wait, wait. Two things here. One, I desperately hope he's really not, like, he really is just a little kid, you know, trying to write this thing. He's not a 20-year-old whose mother still calls him Mr. Moo. This is like me trying to write a fan fiction. I say, hey, guys, look what I wrote. And, and for the, those of you at home who can't see this, He's not Mr. Moo as in Mr. M-O-O, -O, though he does clarify that that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. He's Mr. M-U. Like some weird Chinese version of Mr. Moo. <laughs> it reminds me of Dr. Ear for something. Mr. Moo? Mm, I don't know. Oh, well. 
whatever. All right. Fluttershy woke me up in the middle of the night crying. I couldn't understand her from the amount of tears she was producing. Oh a gosh. few minutes later, she told me what happened. Oh, God. <laughs> I was seriously disappointed with my brother, so I picked what? up Fluttershy, held her close, and calmly went to my mom and dad and told them what had happened. What the fuck happened? Gavin showed her the scary maze game. What? Yes, I'm 20, and I'm still living with my mom and dad. So does my sister and my brother, and they're older than me. But they were in what? I had to comfort her for the next three months because she was that <laughs> scared from it. The oh, fucking, a fucking maze? I mean, Fluttershy, she must be scarred for life. I hope she won't show anyone that. I had to call my uni and tell them my daughter is really upset. It took a while to persuade them to let me take time off. I even had to tell them that she cries in her sleep and wakes up screaming. Gavin, my brother, almost hit her one time. <laughs> I thought I would hit him before he hit her. After that, I gave Fluttershy a ten minute lecture about how fighting is bad. The, what the... Wait, wait, wait. So, so like, picture this in your, in your little human brains for a second here. Like, his brother apparently, like, a giant, like, psychotic bastard just, like, lumbers in. He's, he's like, he's 24, you know what? He's, like, he's older. He's one of two older siblings. We're just gonna say he's 24. He walks in, he's like, I'm gonna punch you, little pony, for some reason. He's like, no, I will hit you first. <laughs> and, and then, like, he takes Fluttershy aside and goes, like, Fluttershy, I want you to understand that what you did was horrible. Fighting is bad. It's never the right thing to do. It's, like, Actually, so weird. Like, was, okay, you know the scary maze game, right? Like, just the dumb, like, you get to the end of the maze, and then the exorcist picture pops up at you and screams at you for a second. Oh, oh, that's what it is. Oh. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's vintage. Like, it's old as shit. It's, like, from 2007. Yeah, it's really old. But uh, it used to be a really big thing. Like, people would post reactions to it. And it was just, like, it's like a jump scare. It's just one I like the jump. one where the guy punched his fist through the computer screen. Yeah. Oh, that, but that. it literally scars her for three months. Yeah. She has, like... Very high amount of like trauma. So, so since he he you know woke up to this, I guess his brother like snuck into his room while he was sleeping, picked up his weird monster daughter. It's like, hey Fluttershy, I'm gonna show you something real crazy. Brings her back in the thing, shows her the video. She freaks out. Then he calms her down, brings her back so she's no longer screaming. Lays him down on his brother's thing, lets her fall back asleep, and then at some indeterminate time later, she starts freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> Holy uh, shit. It's really convoluted. Wait till the end of the story, Duhad. Oh, God. Uh, I will, but not tonight, because it's, it's actually like 10, 18 in the evening for, uh, for yeah, the class in the morning. So what do you so, think of my little Fluttershy so far? It's pretty wonderful. I really want to see how it ends. If the ending was not 4,000 words long, I'd probably just soldier through. But um, it, It's beautiful. It, it really is beautiful. It, Next so week. This is why it's our favorite. Like, the ending is just brilliant. Yeah, oh, so. lordy. I, I can only imagine. It's... But um, thank you all for reading along and listening with us. You know who we are. We know who you are. This episode of Let's Read has been brought to you by We the Big Sky Time Plus and, of course, Spider Man, Spider -Man the Amazing Spider Man. Yeah, and 3D, the Smurfs movie, and Tron LE. Jesus. So, uh, if you're busy and want to the Smurfy Moon actually get free time, come and listen to Let's Read. Yeah. Uh, only once in the Smurfy Moon. Only once in the Smurfy Moon. Good night.